Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Head Trip Creations, where I do mixed media portrait art of all different types, but never hyperrealism. I had a lot of fun doing this gal. She kind of has a vibe like Y2K, little graffiti. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you how I did it. The video will start now. Enjoy. So here I am doing a very simple sketch of her features with the number two pencil on seven by 10 watercolor paper, 90 pound. And her hair is going to just be a little bit wild. And for the first marking, this is a fo art foamy stamp. I love stamps more than stencils. And I'm using a few chalk pastels, which is probably one of my favorite mediums next to acrylics and then inks. So here, um, instead of using watercolors, I'm using the chalk and then I'm going to hit it with water. And I actually just bought more chalk pastels because I really want to perfect this technique. There's so much to learn. I have the fixative sprays to protect it. I always wanted to do watercolors, but it just... Um, never really worked for me and I love chalk pastels so I figured you know what let me use water and kind of you know perfect the technique so here I haven't perfected the technique yet I'm probably using the wrong brush but I just want to lay down some color before I take it to the next level so I am doing some shadows and then I use pan pastels after that for her complexion. But I'm I'm practicing here with the with the shadows and the and the chalk and the water. So here I'm using more water to kind of get the shadows around the frame of her face. And now I start really getting into it. I'm using a small brush because I, I want to kind of tread lightly. So already she's looking kind of edgy. This is from an old project, gluing it down, get a color pop there. So now we have um, different black and white. Now I'm going to add more black. And I'm overlapping this collage piece right over the stencil. And it kind of almost looks like, I'm not going to say like she's wearing a black leather jacket, but it's kind of a little suggestive. And this is actually a stencil for a bullet journal, which I never do. But I like that it has a lot of different things going on in this in the stencil. So it kind of has that graffiti look. And now I am breaking out the bright orange and pink chalk pastels and kind of, you know, figuring out what I want to do. Do I want to use the side of the stick, the edge of the stick? So I'm just blending the orange and the pink with my fingers going all around. I love the way it looks at this point. It it almost looks like she's on like a cover of a magazine. Um, like I, I, f I felt like I could almost stop like right here. A little bit onto the face now. I'm going into her eyes. And it's, it's funny because the piece goes through different phases, different looks. And I think that this phase is actually my favorite. But I kept going and I like the way she turned out. But I may work on this phase a little bit more. Because sometimes when you're working on something, you don't plan um, different phases. Because you're going from point A to point C. 
and you really don't know what point B is going to be like. So here I'm, hope I hope that made sense. So here I am using the pan pastels for her uh, complexion. I actually use a blend of like, um, like it's beige and yellow and a little bit light pink. So I'm working the chalk pastel around her eyes and her lips and now going into her eyes with black acrylic that I'm diluting with water to make it thin like ink just to contour a little bit and now this is a fire coral acrylic that I diluted with water in a spray bottle and so I spritzed it and now I'm using the stem of the sprayer just to make some markings. So this is another phase. So I like the way this looks too. Like I, I could have stopped right here. But I felt like her eyes looked a little washed out because of all the chalk. So you'll see I go into with more black and this is Caran d'Ache water soluble crayons. I'm using pink and orange. And here I am using the water brush, hitting, using like wetting the stick, just like I did with the Caran d'Ache and it actually works. A little bit of pink on her cheeks. And now this is, um, almost the final phase so this is a precision bottle with black acrylic and i just wanted to get some more intensity in the piece with the black because it looks so a little bit you know too chalky i have to get used to it so I kind of feel like the black acrylic kind of took something away like that, the, the first two phases, but it's, it's a new phase and it has something different to offer. It's, it's edgier. So spraying again. And now for some fun, I'm using a gel pen to add not only more contouring, but a lot of energy, a lot of fun with scratchy, scribbly lines. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going all around. I'm going right onto the face. I'm doing all these little scratch scribblies in the corners of the eyes all around. Onto the face, all around the neck, in the hair. So I keep doing that. And then this is the final step. I figured some turquoise might complement all of those other colors and one line right here and it is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions about my process or materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.